hello again yeah today I had to go to work but I'm still going to read a little story it's called lighting the fire don't worry it's gonna be fun Peter lived with his granny every day she would catch up a fire in the yard to cook their food Peter would get some sticks and put them into a pile his granny would pour a little kerosene oil from the bottle onto the pile after that, she would light a piece of paper and throw it onto the pile. Because of the oil, the sticks would catch fire quickly. Then she would put the big black pot onto the three rocks around the pile. Peter liked to watch his granny lighting the fire. One day he said, Can I light the fire, granny? Please let me try. No, Peter, she answered. When you are older, you can do it for me. Fire is a good thing. Without it, we could not cook our food. But it can be a bad thing also. When will I be older, Granny? Peter asked. One day, said Granny. One day. Then I will teach you, and you have to be very careful. See, when I am lighting the fire... I don't use too much kerosene oil. If you use too much, the fire will blaze up. So you must never, never try to light the fire until I tell you. Do you hear me, Peter? But Peter did not hear her. He was thinking about the day when he would be older. One day, Granny was going to cook some cornmeal porridge. She put some cornmeal into a little water in the big black pot. Then she told Peter to get some sticks and a dry bush. I am going for a pan of water, she said to Peter. Peter got some sticks and a dry bush and put them in a pile. Then he said to himself, I think I will help Granny. I will light the fire. I am sure I am older than I was yesterday. I know I am older than I was last week. So Peter poured some kerosene oil onto the sticks and a dry bush. He did not see that he had poured a lot of oil from the bottle. Then he got a piece of paper and set fire to it. As soon as it was burning, he threw it onto the pile of sticks. There was a loud noise. Pow, pow! Sticks jumped into the air and the fire blazed up. Peter jumped back from the bright red and yellow flames. The fire was getting bigger and bigger. Peter looked around. There was only the pot with the cornmeal to make the porridge. Peter picked up the pot and threw it into the flames. There was a funny sound, but the fire did not go out. It just blazed up more brightly. Some of the sticks had dropped onto some dry grass. The grass caught fire also. The flames looked as if they would soon reach the house. Peter did not know what to do. There was a ringing noise in his head. His mouth was dry. He could not even call for help. Peter wanted to run away, but he just stayed there looking at the red and yellow flames. Then Peter heard people shouting. The people came running from the other yards. Peter saw some men with pieces of green bush. They beat the flames with the green bush. Other people got more and more green bush and beat and beat the fire. The fire looked as if it would never stop. Then at last, the flames began to die down. After that, there was a lot of smoke all around. There was a lot of noise. Everybody was talking at once. Then Peter heard his granny talking to him. What happened, Peter? She said. I told you never, never to try to light the fire. I'm sorry, granny, Peter said. You put too much kerosene oil on the fire, she said. We are lucky that the men came running with pieces of green bush. I told you not to light the fire till you were older. I am sorry, granny. Peter said again, and I'm sorry about the cornmeal porridge also. I threw it onto the fire. Well, said Granny, 
we could have lost our house, so we are lucky that we only lost the porridge. After that, Granny said her head was hurting her. She rubbed some white rum on her head. Then she said she was going to bed for a little. A woman from next door went inside the house to stay with her. Peter sat under a tree and rested his head in his hands. His head was hurting him also. His eyes were burning because of the smoke. I will have to be much older before I try lighting the fire again, he said to himself. So, I hope you enjoyed that story and that you are staying safe and well. I'm going back to work now. So thank you for watching. Bye.